Welcome to In Conversation with Manwar Khan podcast. This podcast is brought to you by the Do Not Be a Bystander campaign. You can join us in raising awareness about bullying by visiting the do not be a bystander.com and be sure to subscribe to the channel to stay informed about upcoming episodes. Today's participants are Reedan, Sharon, and Adian. Our special guest for today's episode is Rob Wells. Welcome to our Bullying Awareness Podcast. I'm your host, Manwar Khan. Today, I'm joined by three young individuals who are ready to share their thoughts and insights on the topic of cyberbullying. They all have the same goal, eliminating bullying in school and communities. These young individuals are passionate and addressing the issue of bullying and willing to empower others. Today's participants are Ridan, Sharon, and Adian. Thank you, Ridan, Sharon, and Adian for joining us today. Really, really appreciate that. And before we continue, I would like to introduce our special guest today's episode, Rob. Rob will shed some lights on bullying and give some tips to you guys and advice on this. So I want to talk a little bit about Rob before we start. Rob has lived all his life in Alberta. He works for justice through his activism work, usually as a lone protester, never doubting the power of one. Thank you, Rob, for joining us today. Really appreciate that. Now that we have introduced our participants and guests, let's get started with our first question. So my first question will be for Ridan. So the rise of cyberbullying has become a pressing concern. It's everywhere. It's everywhere we see it. It's impacting the well-being of individuals, particularly the mental health of people. So my question for you is define can you tell me what do you mean by cyberbullying? And give me some example. And do you think how does it affect someone's mental health? Cyberbullying is the act of bringing someone through electronics. An example is that maybe someone sends a picture online, but then someone doesn't like it. Normally, they should ignore it, but in this case, they don't. The cyberbullying may stop leaving bad notes for comments, spreading rumors, and, and start showing it to other people online. This affects mental health because it makes the person sad, worried, unaccomplished, and lose that confidence. In conclusion, cyberbullying is a bad thing that should be stopped soon. Wonderful, great answer. So, do you think, Ridan, cyberbullying it happens in person, or since you just said that it's always used technology? Normally, it's used on technology. It's like computer, right? Social yeah. media, um, messages, text messages, right? Yeah, basically every everything online. So, if somebody cyber bully you, send you a text message and say something bad or somebody's picture or say something that you don't like, you should not be seeing or you should not be looking at. What is the first thing you should do, you think? You should be talking to your parents maybe, right? Yeah. Excellent. And, yeah, tell a trusted adult. Tell an adult, trusted adult. And that would be your parents first. Um, if it is at a school, Definitely, you. if you are at school, you show it to right away to your teacher, right away. You do not take any screenshot, you do not do anything else. You take the phone with you and show your teacher. If you don't do that, if you when you come home, the first thing your job, your job is to share it with your parents or your trusted adult, what you just said, right? Yeah. Excellent, excellent. So if anything, I'm sure it will never happen to you, but if anything, something like these things happens, you know what to do. So if I send, for example, if I send a message, someone said something bad about somebody and I send that message to you, uh, I forward that message to you. What would you do? You do the same thing, I believe, right? 
you'd be showing. You do not share that information with anybody else, right? Yeah. Because it is someone's personal information, right? Yeah. Excellent. No, I really liked your answer. Thank you so much, Sridhar. Great answer. So when witnessing someone being cyber bullied, bystanders have the power to make significant differences by intervening or providing support. So my question for Sharon is, how can a bystander intervene or support someone who is being cyber bullied? If a bystander, they could intervene and like tell the bully to like stop bullying the other person and like encourage the other person mm -hmm. after they get bullied so how my question was how can bystander intervene so they can intervene by like uh they should mm. like they should like encourage the the by the, the victim to just right. ignore them or just tell right. a teacher or tell like a right. adult exactly i like that that's what i wanted to hear and also um telling them if it is safe intervening is a tough thing right it's not very easy so if if you, if you feel safe um you only if you feel safe you tell them that person, that person who is bullying, is that that okay? What you are doing is is not right. That's the only sentence you can say. Not more than that. Not less than that. What you are doing is not right. You're not supposed to do that. But you have to make sure that you are in a safe. If there are seven people there, seven kids over there, and you are alone here, uh, you don't. Um, I think that would be a, that. At that time, the approach would be totally different, right? The better, best, but again, you cannot just ignore it. That's mm -hmm. the whole point. You should be maybe going to somebody who can get a help and uh, you can get the help for that person, right? And you come back with somebody and a trusted adult. Otherwise, you don't leave that person alone there, right? I mean, that you know that uh, somebody is bullying someone and you cannot just um, and also at the same time you can be friend with that person bully the victim's per victim if you become a friend with the victim then victim is not alone he is empowered he feels that okay somebody is with me am i correct do you have anything else to add here uh sharon uh, no not really okay no the, I, I like your answer excellent thank you so much all right so schools play a crucial role in creating safe and inclusive environment for students online and offline so my question for adian is what role can school play in addressing and preventing cyberbullying you think in your opinion okay so schools can teach students about the results of cyberbullying and encourage its uh, responsible online behavior by raising awareness about the cyberbullying issue, students uh, can better understand the impact of their actions and develop empathy towards their classmates. Schools should establish clear rules against cyberbullying by clearly defining what establishes cyberbullying and the con uh, consequences of engaging in, in this behavior. Also, schools should, have, should involve parents in cyberbullying because they play a crucial role in their child's well-being. Schools can establish anonymous reporting mechanisms that allow students to report situations of cyberbullying. Anything else? No. Okay, no, great, great answer. Excellent, thank you so much. Do you guys have any, any, any uh, three or four my participants here? anything you guys want to add to anybody's questions so if not no. now i would like to introduce and uh, invite our special guest rob 
for his feedback he heard all whatever all you guys said and i'm sure he wants to share his thoughts and insights here thank you rob thank you uh wonderful answers i have a couple of suggestions i think it's very important that you plan ahead and prepare for an, an episode of cyberbullying, whether it's against you or someone else, so that you have your mind prepared as to how to respond to it. Otherwise, you can be so upset or shocked that you don't do the right thing. So plan ahead and have a plan of action, what to do, and practice it. So it's very important to speak out to support the person who's being bullied. And whether you just say, this is bullying, this is unacceptable, and uh, I, I, I hate what's being said against you. Those things can be very supportive to help the person know they're not alone, that they have allies, critical. I also think it is very important to speak out and talk to someone in authority, whether it's your parents, whether it is a teacher, and in some extreme cases, you need to go to the, send the information to the police. If it's, if it's going to the point of being promoting of hatred or, or uh, threatening, then you need to report it to the police hate crimes unit. So in order to have that information, sometimes it's essential to snap a screenshot so you have actual evidence of what is being said not to spread spread to anyone else of course not but to be able to show your parents the teachers or the police that this is what's happening to me or some other victim and we have to put a uh, put a stop to it so plan ahead be prepared with a plan of action so you think know what you're going to do and then follow through on it but Always make sure that you're not putting yourself at, at risk for your own safety. But there's a lot of things that you can do very safely uh, from your own comfort zone to put a stop to these things because it's damaging to the people who are victims of, of bullying. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, what I just uh, mentioned, before actually uh, rob just corrected that so i told you guys that uh, do not take screenshot but i did not mention that uh, actually uh, taking a screenshot is you capture it as a just as an evidence not to spread this to other people right so yeah you can take a screenshot keep it so that you can show it to your parents uh, but um, do not share it with spread it to your other friends share it to other people that's that's not right thing to do right okay excellent anything else rob do you want to add no i think that covers it uh, wonderful wonderful topic excellent so um my participants do you guys have any question for rob no no questions all right so we have come to the end of the podcast thank you so much my participants adian sharon and and ritan and i also would like to thank our special guest rob for joining us today thank you so much for uh, listening to today's episode before we wrap up i would like to remind our listeners that there are several resources available to help individuals dealing with bullying and the government of Alberta has a helpline and that number is 1-888-456-2323 and that provides support and advice to those who experience bullying. Bullying is a violation of human rights under no circumstances is bullying acceptable. As a community, we have shared responsibility to stand against bullying and refuse to be a bystander. Thank you so much for joining in conversation with Man Khan. We will see you next week. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.